morning doing some decking today bank holiday monday so this is my sister's house and i cleaned this decking at the end of summer last year and it's gone proper green already and the reason i'm here i'm, I'm using this as like a bit of a training day really because i've seen people using the flat surface cleaners on decking and I've always been scared of doing that because uh, I didn't want to leave any marks but we're going to turn the uh, revs down turn the pressure down and um, see if we can get some good results she's happy for me to do this test today knowing the risks but they're gonna uh, they're gonna stay in it anyway so I reckon I'm gonna do surface cleaner uh, a bit of hypo I forgot my backpack today so I'm gonna, I'll see if I've got a watering can I can borrow Splash some hypo down, brush it in. Should come up well, I think. Look how green that is, man. Very slippy, especially in these shoes. She also wants me to see if I can do anything with this as well. Um, use the lance maybe to uh, pressure wash this see how well it comes up afterwards she's gonna use it for potting all her uh, plants and uh, herbs and spices and stuff it's my brother-in-law's car if anyone needs any Turan parts he's stripping it let me know <laughs> I've had to uh, ask the neighbor to move their car so that I can get the van down there one of my customers gave me this he had uh, a bunch of people doing work at his house and they left it behind so he gave it to me Hopefully it doesn't blow over. How do you secure these down? A couple of bags of sand or something. So I've had to get the car down here. The van. And then they live on the end there. Right, start the work. bunch of dirt in there. Have you got anything that I can get that out with? I've just pushed it in further. That's not good. Hopefully that'll be alright.
if you ever get asked to wash garden furniture like this, price well, because especially things like benches and stuff, they take way longer than you'd expect to get in all the little nooks and crannies and stuff. Not impressed with that to be honest. It's still well green. I suppose it looks brighter, to be fair. Done all the panels, which I didn't do last time. Or the, uh, the bars, I mean. It does look better, but I'm, I'm hoping now, when I put some hypo down, it'll literally get rid of all that green. It's, there, it's obviously cleaned it, it's just, it's still stained. I suppose this is the best thing for the wood really is to is to do just like a light wash and what I'd do if it wasn't my sister's house if this was a customer's house I wouldn't be using hypo I'd probably be using biocide instead uh, hypo is going to give me instant results but it's going to bleach the wood as well whereas biocide is a lot more gentle and it takes longer for you to see the results but if I was to buy aside this, it would come up absolutely brand new. And it would last a lot longer as well, so it won't go as green as fast. But Hypo is going to give me instant results. It will stop activating after about an hour, and then it will be done. Um, but hopefully if we can kill... I reckon the reason it went green so fast last time is because we just pressure washed it and I didn't actually kill any of the algae or any of the moss. So it grew back really quickly, whereas now if we're, if we're going to bleach it, we're going to kill all this. Hopefully turn it back to the original colour and it won't come back so fast. And we're doing it at the start of the year rather than the end of the year as well. So we're going to have a year of sun now. Yeah, I'm going to go and get some hype. I've left my backpack at home, so I'm going to have to go and get that. This has come up alright, to be fair. Considering it's well old. I don't know if you guys saw my reel the other day, but this new hose, this new hose combined with this new um, float valve is insane. That thing there, I'm not joking. I was doing a job on Friday and this didn't drop below full turbo nozzle block paving about two hours solid full pressure and this did not drop below full and then the second job I thought oh, it's probably just brilliant water pressure at this property second job exactly the same and today again I've been using the surface cleaner I know it's only half pressure but it's, it's stayed full and it fills the tank so quickly now it's insane if you want to grab yourself one of those three-quarter inch hoses uh, I'll put the link in the description if I remember, but it's from Tool Station. It's about 25 quid, and you get 30 meters of it. It's a lot thicker than uh, than my old hose, so it doesn't restrict it as much. And then the float valve was just an Amazon job, and I think that was only a tenner. Absolute bargain. Right, we're all done. Looking a lot better. Still got a little bit of green down there. But it's not too bad. Kieran's just getting the, uh, keep getting a load of fluff. Every time it, there's a gust of wind, loads of stuff comes and falls on, onto the deek. Still a bit slippy, isn't it? A bit. Especially in these wellies. This has come up nice. Almost looks brand new. So in my experience um, of doing like fence panels and stuff with this hypo, this exact same method pretty much. Um, I actually done it in my garden as well with, uh, with my sleepers around the garden. Um, it will continue to get brighter over the next couple of days. And so hopefully all that green will go. And uh, this is a perfect base now for staining or painting or whatever they decide to do with it. Um, if it was a... If it's a regular customer, like I said, I'd be using Biocide um, to prevent the, the staining or the bleaching of the wood. Um, but Hypo, in this scenario, because they're going to restain it, 
hypo is fine. It can tend to dry the wood out a little bit. I don't know if you can really see. I'm not sure if that's from today or if that's from last time we pressure washed it, but it's a bit sort of flaky. But we're happy, aren't we, Kiwi? We're very happy. Right, thanks for watching. See you next time.